Hey guys, it's me again. All right, I want to talk about something real quick here. I want to show you how this also, we talked about average cross section. I'm going to show you how this works. I use Pipe Max. Uh, it's absolutely worth every penny. Never let me down. Some people like it. Most people love it. Got customers that it's dead nuts. This is just, this isn't the 4.0 because the 4.0 is a little more in depth. But I'm going to show you how this works. So basically, a guy calls me and says, I'm building a 434 23 degree, and I don't want to turn it any harder than 7200. Right away, instantly, I know I want to put them in my V-Factor 2.7, which is 2.72 at the push rod, 2125, 250 port. Um, it's never let me down. It makes 740 to 780. Yeah, 750 to 780 on most normal bracket style builds works really well so i'm going to show you how i arrive at that cylinder head there's our math again minimum cross section okay tells me at 55 mach i need 2.85 okay i know from my experience that a low port small block head depending on the application I'm going to run the minimum at 300 to 310 feet per second, dead center. Now you got to remember, the bigger the engine, the slower the velocity can be at the minimum. Okay, so you've got a small engine, you want smoking fast speed. So that would be bumped up. Okay, or if you want um, a big 440, that could be even slower. In fact, I think Chris Urachko, when he built that 440, he actually made this bigger for his 440 pump gas. So you can play with that. Okay, run the numbers. I know it flows 342 because the head's already been developed, but that's what it flows. So I don't have to go through all of that. Okay, so it flows 342 at 800 times 2.4 equals 821 divided by 300 feet per second is 2.72 and divided by 310 is 2.65, okay? The head is actually 2.7, it's 2.72 at the push rod, I call it 2.70, okay? So, it's right right in between there. It's, it's, within, it's within error, as they would say. Okay, the head, it, the, the the sheets that I ran off are for 434 at 7200. It's telling me that I need 328 CFM through the intake and carburetor, okay, to make, no, no, sorry, without the intake and carburetor, it needs, it needs um, 328 CFM to make 765 best. I will show you that. I'll, so... It actually, uh, head flows 342, needs 30, 348, that leaves 14 CFM for the manifold and carburetor, which is about right with a ported manifold. Okay, so let's go over here to this. Let me show you this. Okay, so on this sheet, shows at 800 lift, needs 320, almost 328 CFM to make 765. Okay, run all those numbers. Remember, I talked about average cross section, pipe max. Recommended average intake port cross section, the yellow highlighted, recommended. CSA 2.82. Oh man, 2.82. There's a flow curve. So basically, what I'm saying is the head is designed for exactly what Pipe Max calls for an average. That's why it makes good power on a 434. Now I've had these, had these on other engines, had them on 421s, had them on 406s. So that P could be 7,800. 421 might be 7,400. You can cam it to peak lower, but you're not running the head in as efficiency. So that's why they say that, or that's not why they say, that's why it's true that Camshaft 
will dictate you the, the the basically at the end of the day you want the cam and the head to run out of area and time at the same time when you get them both matched that will be the highest producing horsepower engine you can have you don't want too much cam you don't want too much head you want just enough so this you know i talk about pine max a lot i just wanted to show you how you can run it all of this is legit i've got Dyno sheet after dyno sheet, engine after engine, builds after builds that will prove it. So the, the heads never really let me down, ever. So that's how you use Pipe Max. That's how you can relate it. That's how I come up with my 2.72. That's how I come up with all of it. It's, I, I just, I don't, I preach it and I use it. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Bye.